This week we bring you a special show dedicated to a special player. <laughs> Coming up, we're back where it all began with the ones who knew him best. We revisit the highs and lows of an incredible eight European Cup finals. Plus, after almost 25 years in red and black, we pose the question, what next, for Paolo Maldini? So let's head to Milan and meet the man himself. Hello, UEFA. Welcome to Paolo Maldini's house. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Everything's a bit... There's no particular place. I haven't kept many football things. But come on, I'll show you the few things I have. <laughs> Look, it's a disaster zone. I don't even know what's what. The Champions League, Super Cup. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is 2003, Manchester. And that's 2007. So I've kept two that I won. I think I've given away the ones that I lost. <laughs> if I show you a picture of her she doesn't like, I don't know what will happen. I think this was before the World Cup in 98. And he came over. Is, is that me? <laughs> yes, and had a picture taken, yes. Here's one with the Pope, at the time of the Jubilee. Is there a Champions League one around here somewhere? And what's that? No, above. I don't know, let's see. Another one from Manchester. <laughs> this is my wife, yes. We met in Milan in... 87? She was working here as a model. She's Venezuelan, not Italian. This is Danny as a little boy, a little blondie. We like to wind him up because he looks like Nedved. With his hair, it makes him angry. And this is when we got married in 94, Adriana and me, and my mother and father. He was just the same as any other kid in the world. He liked to play, to do a bit of everything. My first steps in football were taken when I used to smash all the glass in the house with the ball. Everyone told me he could do the 200 metres, he could run, he could play basketball. He was a natural at sport, that's how Paolo was. My first real experience of playing with teammates was at school, in an oratory, which was used a lot when I was a boy. We went to school in the morning,